Hello. In this video, we're going to be proving that the diagonals in a rectangle are congruent. So I have rectangle ABCD here, and what we're going to do again is try to use congruent triangles to show that the diagonals are congruent. So let me go ahead and draw in the diagonals right now. So we're going to draw in from A to C, we're going to draw in from B to D. And again, those are intended to be two segments, so two straight pieces of a line and we want to try to show that AC and BD are the same. So I'll make again my two columns here, so one for statements and one for reasons. And so we'll start by saying um, A, B, C, D is a rectangle and that is the given information that says that right up the top, that it's a rectangle. So what do we know about rectangles? Well, we know it's a parallelogram, so it has all those various uh, things that we know about parallelograms to be true. We also know that it has four right angles. So what I want to do in this figure, in this proof, I want to look at this as two separate triangles like I mentioned earlier. So this is triangle A, B, D, and we have triangle A, C, D over there. Okay, it's if I took in uh, this piece, and then again I took that piece of the whole thing. And again, our goal is to show that B, D is congruent to A, C. That's our goal. So let's go ahead and start talking about what we know. We know that in um, rectangles and in parallelograms that opposite sides are congruent. So AB and CD are congruent. AB is congruent to CD. And that's because opposite sides are congruent. Okay, that would affect these two pieces right there. Next, I know that uh, we have four right angles. So that angle A and angle D are right angles. So we can say that angle A, and I better be more specific than that, let's say angle A, D, C, and angle D, A, B are right and that's because that's what we know about rectangles, the definition of a rectangle. It's a parallelogram with right angles. And because we have two things being right angles, we know that angle ADC is congruent to angle DAB because all right angles are congruent. Alright, so we have two pieces congruent here. We need a third piece, certainly. And we noticed that when I drew in the, the green and the yellow triangles that they overlapped in one side. So we can show that AD is congruent to itself. And that, of course, is reflexive. So we have three pieces congruent here in this triangle. We have two sides and the angle between them. So we're able to say that triangle BAD is congruent to triangle. In uh, B would match with angle C, A would match with D, and then D would match with A. And that therefore is because of side angle side congruence. And then lastly, because we have congruent triangles, all the pieces in it must be congruent, and so BD is congruent to AC like we wanted to prove at the end there, because again, we know we have congruent triangles, and that's what the definition of congruent triangles tells us. When uh, triangles are congruent, every matching piece or corresponding piece is congruent, and I guess I should have tick marked this up here that AD is congruent to AD. Okay, 
And so now we can know that if we have rectangles, the diagonals in those rectangles are congruent. And we're going to use that in class tomorrow to prove whether or not something is or is not a rectangle. For now, we're done.